Well, how's it going guys? <sighs> Once again filming out <laughs> outside in the car park. <laughs> um, it's a very crisp morning, really chilly actually. It must be nuts. I just popped out to put the fishing gear in the car and um, it's quite heavy frost, bright conditions. Not been able to get out that often recently at all. Um, well, I mean, I think that's being kind that often. I've not been out for, for this particular video that I'm going to film. I've not been out for around 20 days. Um, there's been a lot of hectic stuff going on uh, with my father's health and his dementia side, um, which I don't really want to bore you guys with. But yeah, it's been very tough going and trying to look after him as best as possible. Anyway, I am actually going to get out today. I've got a hospital appointment myself. I've not been that well. So I've got a hospital appointment today. Probably won't get, get to the river that I've picked to fish today um, as early as I'd like, which is a pity. Um, hospital appointments around about 1, one thirty. I suspect by the time I get seen, it'll be, I'll be coming out more around about half two-ish. So I have packed a link leisure rod and a float fishing rod. Um, so both setups, but whether I get to float fish for very long or at all by the time I get down to the river remains to be seen. Tactics, as you've seen on a lot of my videos, I've got with me some liquidized bread with a little bit of uh, bird seed mixed in, nice little bit of garlic and krill. I've got my krill cheese paste, as well as lobworms, maggots, bread flake, etc. to fish. Now, this particular waterway I've not fished before. I've been doing quite a bit of groundwork on it over the last couple of seasons, and by that I've been looking at Google Maps and Ordnance Survey Maps. And um, just recently I managed to pop down just for a quick look. We didn't get to fish at all, as I said, I haven't had the chance. Um, so, on actually getting down to the river, it looked absolutely gorgeous. Looks good for a fish or two. I'm not going to rove it today or, or fish more than one swim. I may fish two swims. I'm most likely going to plump for just the one swim. So, fingers crossed, as I say, although I've got the float tackle with me, I've got a link leisure packed because I don't think by the time I get finished with my hospital appointment, I don't think I'm going to have that much daylight left. Conditions aren't too perfect, are they? I mean, bright conditions and um, pretty frosty, but given that I've not been out for over 20 days, not been able to get out, I'll take whatever conditions as always. You go when you can go, and I'm sure you guys know that feeling too it's just nice to get out and get on the bank so let's get out let's try this new waterway and um, yeah see what this particular swim delivers us Simple liquidized bread, a little bit of krill in there, garlic. As you can see, I've got an outflow next to me. You wouldn't think that this area to my left is the main river and there should be a nice flow there because of the outflow, it's pinning that area back, creating a lovely feature. Oh, nice looking small chub, cracking condition as well, plenty of bites. Another Chevy. There we go. Resplendent in the bright, clear conditions. I think I'm going to have a little bit longer on the leisure, link leisure that is, and then change the float and the centre pin.
Well, there we go. Nice, stocky, juvenile Chevin on the float. Missed a couple of other bikes as well. I'm really enjoying this trip, I have to say. It's always fun exploring a new river. <laughs> Just take on a couple of white maggots. Wonderful. Oh, it's a lovely roach. Wow, how about that for a red bin? Oh, what a beauty. What an absolute peach. Gorgeous. What a gorgeous looking roach. Oh, wonderful. That is absolutely brilliant. I was hoping for a few roach or there might be a decent roach or two about on here, but yes. What a way to boost your confidence. What an absolute beauty. Nice little dace, just right at the tail end of the flow there. Very nice condition. Well, I've missed as many bikes as I've had casts. So what a gem this is turning into. Look at that for a lovely day, a lovely silver dart. Beautiful condition, wonderful.
o'clock, another nice road. Well, how about that then? Lots of black spot on it, but wow, another nice looking red fin. Tell you what, ah, oh, I love it when a plan comes together and homework pays off. Wonderful. Wow, another roach. Oh yes. Oh what a what a gorgeous little trip this is turning into. Very nice too. Very, very wholesome. Just off the edge of the flow. Another road. Wow. How about that? How wonderful. Your small rivers, your capillaries, your bloodline waterways. Never, ever, ever ignore them. At your peril. Wonderful. little chump very nice I tell you what they're holding they're holding just off off the edge of the flow here it's a nice circulation you can trot the float through and it comes right back round to this area here where the um, faster current is and then swings round and down you can get a nice run and a nice rotation with the float. Yeah, really enjoying this. Absolutely superb. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said that already, but this is absolutely wonderful. Approach. How about that, eh? How about that? Yes! Wonderful redfin! God, it's got a lovely build to it. An absolutely gorgeous fish. Look at that. What a pristine, 
pristine looking redfin and tell you what uh, I cannot exalt how, how, how wonderful this has been so far <laughs> what a trip what a gorgeous roach Another roach. Did I mention how much I'm enjoying this trip? Went a little bit quiet for a little while there, but it's because I stopped feeding. I actually went to left my gear and went to have a look at a couple of other spots. But yeah, absolutely superb. Started feeding with some mashed bread uh, because I've run out of liquid ice. And um, yeah, I've missed a couple of bites. And then just have this one. It's absolutely spellbinding. Another pristine conditioned juvenile Kevin. Another lovely looking young chub with a very proud dorsal. And this one, as you can see, has been gorging on the mashed bread. Nice roach on bread, mate. Right? Nice looking fish.
How about that then? <laughs> this is superb. And there's one of my subscribers, Danny Boy. I don't know if you're going to be watching this video. I hope you are, of course. But you said to me you'd like to see some proper roach fishing. Well, these are certainly a nicer stamp, especially for such a diminutive waterway. I mean, this is actually a very, very small river. It's just this particular area is a bit wide due to the outflow. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Really confident bite on bread flake. Another pleasantly plump roach. I can safely say this round of red fins is on me, guys. Ah, they're in cracking condition. Short and stumpy and very dumpy. A little silver dark dace. <laughs> Should have definitely brought more maggots, shouldn't I? <laughs>
there we go that's a nicer chub as i said a good scrap <laughs> went straight into the main current it's on a nice little bit of bread flake yeah getting to that witcher now but i'm going to have to be heading off it's been so so enjoyable we're going to have five or ten minutes more half an hour if i can get away with it but yeah thoroughly enjoyable very very good fun Oh, that's a gorgeous looking dace. Really nice, and plump, wonderful. I tell you what, I've missed some cracking bites as well. These um, dace, as usual, really, really hitting the bait quick. And you've got to be on your A game at times. Now, excuse me if I'm shouting a bit, I don't know how it's coming out on the video, but trying to overcome the noise from the the flow and current behind me. Well, I think I make this the last one. I'm out of maggots. I'm also out of liquidized bread. It's been thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. Well, what a thoroughly enjoyable trip. Must have about anything between 12 and 13 pounds of fish here. Biggest roach was that bigger one earlier on. That was one pound, one ounce. Don't want to have to juggle them too much either. Look at this. Look at those. Absolute gorgeous roach. One of the better chub. Wonderful. And plenty of dates in with them as well. Anyway, I'm not gonna have them all out and show you all of them because that's not really fair on the fish. Let's get them slipped back. Absolutely crazy trip. I can't, can't, uh, can't, words foul me to be honest. And that's why groundwork is always worth doing. Always worth doing. Anyway, let's get these slip back, shall we? Well, what a thoroughly, amazingly superb, wonderful, stellar, I can't think of enough superlatives. This is why I do my groundwork and I, I like to map areas of river. And generally, on a whole, it pays off. And this has really paid off. That, I mean, they've all been superb looking roach, but the best one was that, that larger one that you saw earlier on. And that was one pound, one ounce decided to give it away that's a lovely roach brilliant fun as well on the stick and pin 
you got it's, it's so wonderful because you've got a myriad of different currents because you've got this powerful flow and the floats coming off of the site of the actual main flow of the river and then looping back round into the main flow and out and as soon as it was hitting that area that that line as such I was getting bites off of roach dace etc lots of dace in the flow real fast bites you know typical bites whoosh, 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 bit like bleak bites they make you go cross-eyed and you've got to be on your a-game but yeah what a what a thoroughly superb trip and anyone who knows me quite well some of my closer fishing friends will know that I filming this video today um, I haven't been fishing for over 20 days so um, you can imagine I was dying to get out got the chance to do a short trip took it with both hands and that coupled with the groundwork that I'd done previously with looking at alternate survey maps looking at Google Earth on Google Maps it's, it's paid dividends massively um, in total there I didn't want to show all the fish it must have been around about I, I said 14 pounds I would say 12 around about 11 to 12 pounds of fish how wonderful is that nice head of roach some really nice chunky ones there as well I'm sure there's even larger than that one pound one that I had and I'm pretty sure there's some big perch lurking about as well as even better chub plenty of dace as I say uh, yeah thoroughly thoroughly amazing but I have got to be heading off it's been enjoyable that's putting it mildly it's been utterly superb hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you have do take time to pop a comment down in the comment section I love replying to them but well, what I tend to do though with the comments is wait a little while and then reply to them in bulk but I always put my time in when I am replying to re give you an individual answer or reply um, or answer any questions as best I can so if you have enjoyed the video do consider popping a comment in the comment box and giving it a hearty thumbs up also sharing it would be most appreciated if you could share it on your Facebook pages your group pages Instagram uh, Twitter and also on any of your website forums you'd help me be helping me out to grow the channel and um, have a wider viewing audience which would be very welcome and appreciated if you would do that and if you're not subscribed you're really missing out you're missing out listening to a waffling madman a guy who loves his rivers and um, someone who's very passionate about their fishing so what you do hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon you'll be kept up to date with all my latest uploads plus a big back catalogue of other videos and vlogs to peruse at your own pace and leisure anyway that is it i am going to be heading off home hope you've enjoyed the video till next time tight lines goodbye